Hey guys, today's video is going to be my makeup collection and storage. I've been planning to film this for the longest time. This is just sort of the overview of my unit where all my makeup is stored. It's not really stored in the most ideal way, but this is just kind of what I have to work with and I'm happy with it. Yeah, there's a lot to go through, so I'm going to be mainly focusing on these four sort of sections and then these four down here as well. The rest are kind of random and this video I think is going to be really long anyway so I don't want to focus too much on them. So I'll just give you a really really quick overview of what's up top. So up here in this section top left it's just a ton of makeup bags, birch box bag things, things like that. Nothing exciting, no actual makeup or anything. And then this top right section is just backups of stuff. So pretty much everything that's in there you're going to see I already have anyway so I'm not going to go through that today I don't think. And then just under that section here there's this little light because this is actually in a corner where you don't get much light so when I'm doing my makeup I sometimes need some extra light so I just use that and there's a switch up there. Just turn it on like point it at myself. It's not again it's not ideal but sort of does the job. I'm going to start with this section. Okay so I'll start with these drawers here. These are from Staples and this drawer was about £10 and there's another one down here. So I've got one green and one orange. These were just a really cheap way to sort of store the makeup and you can fit a lot in these because the drawers are quite big. You'll see in a minute how much stuff I've got in there and they were just a cheap sort of stationary alternative to sort of the Muji drawers, that kind of thing and they're just a lot bigger. So I went with these and they kind of fit perfectly in this sort of unit, it really works. So I'll start with the top drawer. This drawer holds all my foundations and I put this up here, kind of away from the rest of my makeup just because I don't use all of my foundations every day but I know if I want to look for a different one then I can just go into this drawer and then it's sort of easy. So I'll show you a few of them. So you can see here I've got Bourjois Happy Light. Um, Estee Lauder Double Wear. I've got the EX1 Invisiwear Foundation. Most of these are too light for me right now, so I haven't used a few of them in a, a while. Revlon Color Stay, this is in buff. Uh, a couple of Rimmel Match Confections. The BB Cream, Garnier BB Cream, this Maybelline Instant Age, Instant Anti Age Foundation. Some Rimmel Stay Matte Mousses, uh, Max Factor Face Finity Audio Primer, Maybelline Fit Me down there, Clinique, and another Garnier one, so that's that drawer. And then the next drawer isn't very exciting, it's kind of like um, medical stuff, well medical, um, sort of hay fever tablets, eye drops, uh, that kind of thing. Nothing very fun in there. There's a few perfume samples and stuff, but not much. Not really that fun to go through. So I'll go into this one, which is my sample drawer, which actually has loads of stuff in it. I've got some loads of body lotions, some Liz Owl cleanse and polish. What else have I got in here? This La Roche Posay thermal spring water, which I should just finish up. It's almost empty. Some soap and glory shampoo, soap and glory body butter. Cora's body milk, some more bits and pieces, but it's just all samples, but some packets of stuff, Garnier body oil, Elizabeth Arden 8 hour cream, just in the front there. I really like this actually, um, Urban Vader Radiance Exfoliating Facial Polish, got that in there. And then, what else? Laura Mercier, what is this, Souffle body cream in vanilla. So that's just where I keep all my samples and it's always a little bit messy. I'm going to zoom you in even further and then back here I have a load of brushes. These are the brushes that I use the least so I've got some Sigma I'll just pull them out. So I've got some Sigma, just a few eyeshadow brushes, kind of just a random selection they're the ones that I reach for the least. So they just go back there. Um, so they're there if I want them, but I don't use them very often. And then in the front here, I have this little glass 
sort of bowl type thing. I got this from TK Maxx. It was only like a couple of pounds. I like it though, it's cute. And I just wanted to put some more of my sort of lip products on display so I used them a bit more because I was running out of space in drawers. So I'll show you through this little drawer full of lip samples. I mean lip products. So there's just a bunch of stuff in here. I've got some Rimmel Apocalypse there. Three of those. I actually don't get much use out of these. They're not really my kind of thing. Uh, Whitening Lightning Gloss there. Laura Mercier Lip Glossé. That's in Bare Naked. It's just a basically a random bunch of stuff. Uh, Rimmel Gloss. Bourgeois Rouge Edition Velvet, um, number seven. Um, what else have I got? Nars here. It's Turkish Delight. Got this new Maybelline Master Drama. What is it? Color Drama Intense Velvet Lip Pencil, which I'm kind of trying out right now. Clinique Chubby Stick NYX Butter Gloss. This isn't the easiest thing for me to actually show you, but there's a Revlon Lip Butter. Some other bits and pieces. So there's just some lip products in there. And then this section isn't too exciting, but I've got some Dove deodorant, a Vaseline body moisturiser that I'm trying to use up, um, L'Occitan Divine Lotion, a little sample, makeup cleaner, brush cleaner uh, from Pro Hygiene Collection. Back here there's some sort of body sprays, um, body butter from the body shop. This little container here, which just has cotton buds in it and there's one little cotton wool ball there. This was a, like £1. I got it from secretsales.com. Um, you won't be able to get that on there now but if you just search like cotton bud holder on eBay or something you find things like this. Then I have a old candle uh, holder with cotton pads in. I've got this eye cream, the Ecologen Wrinkle Correcting Eye Cream and this has like a roller ball. I got this in a Love Me Beauty box which I actually didn't do an unboxing of or anything but I got it recently and I like it. I've never used a rollerball before and I actually am a fan. Then Estee Lauder Daywear, um, some MAC Fix Plus here, Micellar Water from L'Oreal, some Lizelle Moisturiser and the Instant Boost Skin Tonic, just little samples there. And then at the back there's another load of brushes. And these are sort of ones I use more often, but still not every day. So we've got Real Techniques Buffing Brush. There's a load of Sigma. Um, there's my F80 and my F86, which I do love, but I just use my beauty blender all the time, so they don't get much love. The Sigma F64, which I really like for contouring, cream contour. And then this Real Techniques Dua Fiber Face Brush, which I really like as well. But yeah, I don't use those every day, so they don't come out often they just kind of sit at the back for when I want them okay I'm bringing you to the sort of two main sections now of my makeup collection well probably three main sections so I've got this big mirror from number seven which sort of has a light as well the light isn't amazing but it's on there so back here I have mascaras and I find that keeping them in a this is an old candle it's a Christmas candle actually is just the easiest way so I can just literally reach for which ones I want. My favourites are Maybelline the Rocket Waterproof, obviously. And then I've been combining these two, I mentioned it in my monthly favourites video. So that's the Lash Accelerator from Rimmel, I love these two together. And I've got the L'Oreal Miss Manga Waterproof Mascara, which I actually do quite like. Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. Number 7 Stay Perfect Mascara, which I love for lower lashes. And I've got Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, Estee Lauder, Sumptuous Extreme, Benefit They're Real, Number 7 Extreme Length Waterproof, and this Essence All Eyes On Me Waterproof, which I don't think much of. So they just go back there and I just reach for them behind the mirror. Then there's another candle holder which just has sort of products I'm trying to use, want to try, that kind of thing. So I just put them in here. I've just got my eyelash colour randomly in there. That kind of just goes wherever... I've got this old um, mascara wand which I just use for like a spoolie to comb through my lashes or my brows or whatever. Uh, Rimmel BB Cream, the matte one in light. Trying to use this up because I don't have much left. Then I'm trying to use up these as well. Quarterly Daily Perfecting Fluid and Dr. Brandt Pores No More Pore Refiner. Got a little sample of Benefit, their real push-up liner which I'm trying. 
I'll probably have a review on my blog soon. And then right down in here I've got Benefit Theonistry Primer um, Sample. I'm trying to use it up. I've been trying to use it up for ages. And then this Mask Pigment in Your Toast, which I want to try. So I just put that in there. Okay, and then these two are my most used brushes. There's a little pot pencil sharpener here as well. And if you want to see a brush, most used brush video, then just put it in the comments or thumbs up this video and I'll try and do that. I've had a couple of requests for that, so I will do that for you if you want me to let me know. So these are my sort of smaller brushes, eye brushes. There's probably too many in here. I don't use all of these every day. But I've just got sort of Zoeva 227 blending angled brush from UBU, I think. Sigma... F70, I like that for sort of brow bone highlight. Real Techniques Duo Fibre Contour Brush, I use that for blush if it's like a really pigmented blush. Real Techniques Setting Brush, I use it every day for powder. Um, I've got some of these brushes from Amazon, which I got, they're really cheap from Amazon, they're like 4 99 so I thought I'd get those and try those out. So probably we'll do a review of those soon as well. Um, I've got a few shading brushes as well. Real Techniques Base Shadow Brush. Pencil brush from Sigma E30, um, small tapered blending brush E45, I love that one. And then there's some flat shader brushes, that kind of thing. So yeah, and some tweezers in the front. And then I have this one here with my beauty blender, which is looking pretty bad. Um, it does, it's not that dirty, but I do need to clean it. And then my Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge as well. I kind of just use my beauty blender every day recently. And then back here are the base brushes, just a few. Powder brush from Real Techniques, contour brush, blush brush, all from Real Techniques. And then three Sigma brushes, the F35 for highlighter, F50 for duo, um, this is just for sort of blending everything together, and then the F40 for blush. So those are my most used brushes, but I can go a bit more into detail in a separate video. Okay, this is probably my favourite section of makeup. I'll go through the drawers first. So it's another drawer set from Staples. So starting on the top drawer. Okay, I've given you more of an aerial view, so hopefully I can just open the drawer and show you what's inside. But in the top one, you can probably see here, it's mostly lip products in the front. Okay, so these are probably the lip products I use the least, which go in this drawer. I've got a load of different ones, some Maybelline Colour Sensational lipsticks here, a chapstick, Lip balm, Rimmel matte lipstick in 111, uh, another Rimmel, what is this, birthday suit, there's so many random things in here, um, quite a lot of Rimmel, in love with ginger, sort of orangey red shade, and then just a few more, I've got like Bourjois, Revlon, Topshop I can see, um, what is this? Makeup Revolution, Tanya Bear lip gloss there, Picnic in the Park, and some other bits. Back in the back I have more lip balms and then some false lashes. So some Ardell Demi Wispies, which I really need to try out. So that's what's in that one. Next drawer is uh, face products, so blush, bronzer, powder, highlighter, that kind of thing. Okay, so in here I have Natural Collection Blushes. Here, all six of my natural collection blushes. Sleek blushes. Um, let me show you a few. Some sleek blushes here. I've got uh, Life's a Peach. Flamingo. And Pixie Pink, I think this is. Yeah. And then a couple of Makeup Revolution blushes. Which I need to still test out a bit more, but I don't love them. I've got those. That is Sugar and Treat. Safe and Glory Glow All Up Highlighter, the Mary Luminizer, Rimmel Match Perfection Loose Powder, Maybelline Matte Maker, Bourjois Chocolate Bronzer, the Body Shop Honey Bronzer here. That's medium. I used to use it all the time, but I haven't really got it out recently. Uh, collection Bronze Glow Mosaic. I really like that for the for eyes. It's a really nice sort of shadow. NYC Sunny Bronzer. I feel like I'm trying to like this one, but I don't know. It's not my favourite. I think it's a bit too orange. 
I've got Essay Lauder blush, which is always really hard to open, which is gorgeous. Witty Peach, Sleek Contour Kit in Fair or Light, Light. A couple of MUA blushes, and then I've got this Essence blush in Natural Beauty. There. Rimmel blush, um, this bourgeois bronzing primer which I really love, Topshop cream blush in afternoon tea which I actually haven't used for ages, it's kind of messy but yeah I have had that for a while but I haven't used it, uh, Liz Earl blossom, another cream blush Bourgeois Nude Velvet Cream Blush. Cream blushes are things that I kind of want to get into, but I never reach for them over powders. This is the Balm Pie sample. Then this NYC Cream Blush in Soho Pink, which is really nice. I like the stick form. Uh, number 7 Match Made Concealer. In mocha for contouring and then what else have I got max factor soft what is it soft pink cream blush and then some mini benefit high beam and cha cha tint and then a me 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 beat the blues pearl pink highlighter so that's that draw and then finally my everyday makeup drawer. So in here is the stuff I reach for the most and I sort of rotate this regularly. So I've got L'Oreal True Match here. I've got two shades but W3 is better and I've got W2 as well which is actually so yellow compared to the whole rest of the range. If you look at it in um, boots, W2 is just so yellow. I don't know why. Uh, NYX HD Studio Powder uh, NARS Laguna, I'm sure you know what this looks like, the Balm Bahama Mama for contouring, I like that, I've got some post-its for helping with my winged liner, uh, Urban Decay Prime Potions, Sigma Brow Powders, and then I've put this little box in here just to sort of separate things, this is just a old birch box. And then here I have a So Susan Universal Blush, which is really, really nice. Sort of pinky, um, shimmery blush. Bubblegum Lip Scrub in there. Maybelline Dream Smooth Primer, which I'm trying to use up. Maybelline Color Drama Velvet Limp Pencil, another one. This is in the Nude, what's it called? Oh, it's on here. Nude Perfection. Trying to sort of test that out. Um, I've got this number seven shadow, which I really, really like. This is a really good sort of lid shadow, sort of taupey bronze color. And this is from the trio. Um, Garden Earth or something like that, I'm not sure. But it came in a free gift. Then I've got L'Oreal Colorie Schlombo Pure in Little Beige Dress as well. So just a couple of single shadows in there. Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in 15 and 20. I'm almost done with 15, just trying to use that up. Kick-Ass Concealer from Soap and Glory in there as well. Um, you might have seen this as a powder, which I've hit pan on, and then two concealers. I've got some liners in here. Let's see. I've got a number seven blush in Soft Damson there, which again I'm trying to use up because I've hit pan. So I'm just trying to finish that. Okay, then I've got Urban Decay Demolition, which is a brown liner, and Rimmel Brow Pencil in black brown. L'Oreal Lumi Magique Primer, which I've been really liking lately. Rimmel Scandalize in black, which is eyeliner. MAC Prep and Prime in Light Boost, which is another thing I've been going through lately. Revlon Skin Lights in Bare Light. Uh, NARS Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. 
So I think that's everything in there. And then here I have my lipstick holders. So I've got two of these. Um, I think they're from eBay. I'm not sure if I just ordered the same one, I can't remember, but I've got two of these. I think they're both from eBay, but you can find these sort of online really easily. So I'll start at the front. I've got my four MAC lipsticks. I've got Cream Cup. Let's see if I can do that looking. Um, syrup. There. Japanese Maple. And... Viva Glam 5. And then I have my YSL lipstick, Rouge Volupte lipstick in 01. There. So I've got kind of got my high-end ones at the front. And then what's usually there? Hmm. Can't remember, but there's something missing. Uh, Too Faced Marshmallow Bunny. It's upside down, so that's just that one. I can probably just put that that way, see any one of that. Um, Super Glory Blush Pink, really like this one. Nice matte lipstick, kind of Kylie Jenner-esque. Makeup Revolution, the one. And then two Urban Decay, Naked One and Naked Two. The Naked Two is a little bit sort of messy but I've got those two in there and then Estee Lauder pink berry which I love as well okay I don't know if I'll go through every shade but this is Smashbox night Smashbox Smashbox nylon nude what is this a be legendary lipstick I think yeah I've got some Maybelline I mean Revlon lip butters I've got strawberry shortcake and pink lemonade Rimmel Nude Delight, one of my faves. Definitely my most used lipstick ever, pretty much. Um, L'Oreal Colorish Merino Mauve. There. A lot of these are from my blog sale haul. Um, new things, which I'm trying out. Uh, two color elixirs from Maybelline, Nude Illusion and Petal Plush. And then Maybelline Colour Whisper in Pinup Peach, which I'm really liking at the minute. Wearing that now. And then two Essence lipsticks in Love Me and Natural Beauty. Just two pinks. Really pretty colours. And then I've got a NYX Butter Gloss in Tiramisu there. So I'm going to pull this out and then I'll show you the next one. So these are just the slightly less used. So I've got some Revlon Lip Butters, Wild Watermelon, Sweet Tart and Sorbet. More Maybelline Colour Whispers, Faint for Fuchsia, Pink Possibilities. I showed all of these in my blog sale haul so I'll link that below. NYX Butter Lipstick in Lollies. Then Estee Lauder Boy de Rose. There. Um, Rimmel Vintage Pink moisture in your lipstick another L'Oreal Colorish in blushing sequin Bella Pierre ruby lipstick there gorgeous gorgeous red bourgeois rouge edition velvet in nudist got two Revlon matte lipsticks smoked peach and pink pout they're really nice matte lipsticks from drugstore uh, Maybelline, no, Rimmel Pink Blush. This is, oh, what's that? Bit of a dent. Um, Lasting Finish Lipstick. The Kate Moss 107 Matte Lipstick. The Classic. Definitely will be getting this one out again soon as we get into autumn. Topshop Tees, which is a sort of old favourite of mine. Model Co. Get Naked, which again I love, but this one is like kind of broken. If you can see, so I don't reach for it as much because it sort of moves all over the place, but that is definitely an old favourite of mine. I've been through one of those, and then Body Shop Coral Crush, I think 130. Oh, Colour Crush lipstick, it's Coral something. I've got that, and then the back row is my Whitening Lightning glosses. I've got Sugar Mama, Coral Craze, Nude, 
Pink Tiara, Fiji and Rose Hill. So they just all go back there. Oh, you can't really see the end ones. There you go. Rose Hill just there. So that's that section. Okay, I've brought you down a section and this is palettes mostly here. Just here in these ones I've got like hair stuff, jewellery, but I'm not going to go through that now. I've got some makeup wipes, the boots, cleansing wipes and the Yes to Cucumbers. And they just go there, I reach for them all the time. Um, I've got a hairband here which I use every day when I'm doing my makeup and when I'm taking it off. And then I've got this Makeup Revolution Ultra Bronze Bronzer which kind of annoys me that I never use this but it's too big to go anywhere else. So it just ends up down there and I always forget about it. Um, I've got my MAC palette, which I actually depotted a load of shadows into recently, which are Soap and Glory. I got this, um, my sister got me this sort of box, limited edition box for Christmas, and I never used them because they were just sitting in the back of this, so I thought I'd depot them into the MAC, got some magnets and did that. So they're sort of all mixed and jumbled, and then I've got Benefit Coralista here. So I've got... A load of Soap and Glory ones, so it's, it was the Christmas eyes box I think, and then I've got Crystal Avalanche, Nylon, Naked Lunch, Cranberry, that's Soap and Glory, Soap and Glory, uh, Fig One, um, what's this one called? Uh, Sketch, oh yeah, Woodwinked, Antiqued, Honeylust, Era, Espresso, and Sumptuous Olive, so the ones I didn't point to are Soap and Glory ones, so that's my MAC palette. I took out the inserts so I could fit everything in, but I actually really like how it looks now. A bit more full. I've got the Naked One, which is a pretty new purchase, but um, yeah, I got that. Uh, Cargo Vintage Escape palette here, which is another one I probably don't use enough, but I've got that. Sleek Storm palette, which I love. Um, Too Faced chocolate bar. There. What else do I have? Real Techniques Modern Day Natural Makeup Kit. Oh, I just got a whiff of that Too Faced chocolate bar. Smells so good. Um, this is an old sleek mirror that I just keep. It's not got um, a palette attached to it. And then back here I've got uh, Makeup Revolution palettes. Iconic One, Lock and Load, Essential Max, and uh, Iconic Three. And then here I've got um, the Zoeva Warm Shimmer Palette, which is huge, and another one I don't use enough. I bought this when I was sort of building up my collection, and it's just nice because I've got loads of colours in there. So that is that section. This is where the rest of my makeup is stored. This is just my Tangle Teaser, which sort of just lives there, wherever there's space for it. I've got some more, um, these are cups from TK Maxx, just plastic, uh, really cheap again. And I've got more sort of lip, mostly lip glosses in here. So I've got NYX Mega Shine lip glosses, these are from my blog sale haul. Um, another one, four of those. Maybelline Cashmere Rose, Colour Sensational Shine Gloss. And some Tanya Bear glosses here. Um, afternoon tea, Smile Dream Sparkle, and Exotic Island. So I've got those, and then a number seven BB lips in Blink Pink. And I just moved these down here recently, so I reached for them more. And then back here, I have a slightly bigger cup with some more bits. I've got some Revlon Color Burst lip glosses, Bellini Crystal Lilac, and Peony. Another whitening lightning gloss, uh, Raspberry Sherbet. Um, NYX Extreme Lip Cream in Natural. Colorish, L'Oreal Colorish Extraordinaire in Nude Vibrato. An Essence Matte uh, Long Lasting Lip Gloss in Velvet Rose. And then Lorac Retro. I want to use that actually. So they just live in there. I'm going to put Lorac up here so I use it. The rest of my makeup is kept in these one pound drawer duos, they are all separate so it's like two drawers to one and they were one pound from Poundland. So the top two just have empty boxes in them so I won't show you that, but then I'll pull the drawers out so you can see properly. This is the primer drawer, 
So I've got Professional, Stay Flawless, That Girl, um, this is my Absolute New York Primer eyeshadow, and then number 7 Beauty Free Matte Makeup Base. And then most of these are eye products, so I've got my Lancome Bronzer More, gorgeous, Body Shop Shimmer Cube, some Estee Lauder Quads from Free Gifts, which are really cool, you get four shades in there, it's really small but it's just a nice little free gift to try them out, and there's another one back there, which is more purpley. And then I've got three of these number seven what are they called? Stay Perfect, Shade and Define. They're sort of like eyeshadow crayons. I've got Cool Bean, Coffee Bean, Cool Mink, get them mixed up, and then the purple one which is Deep Purple. And then my Rimmel eyeshadow paints, which I mentioned a lot. Okay, these are my uh, cream eyeshadow bases. So I've got five Maybelline color tattoos and then Sigma Persuade. So that is just a skin toned cream colour base. All in on bronze. What's this? Endless purple, pomegranate, I think, pink gold, and permanent taupe. Next one is Brow Bar to Go by Whitening Lightning. Uh, Coastal Scent Sample, a Rimmel Quad, and then some NYC palettes back here. Best of Broadway and Midtown Mauve. I've used those in a tutorial before, a really old one. And then the last one here is more sort of shadows, single shadows, some essence ones. Uh, Zoeva pigment, just a white pigment in porcelain. Barry M pigment, 39. Some gel liners, L'Oreal and Maybelline and then... Okay, so back here the Bella Pierre pigments are Sunset and Celebration. And... Next up I have unopened mascaras and other things, mostly mascara, baby doll from YSL, Maybelline the Rocket, Maybelline Great Lash, Estee Lauder Sumptuous Extreme and Professional Sample, Concealer Drawer which is my favourite, one of my favourites, um, two collection concealers in shades 1 and 3, Rimmel Wake Me Up, Maybelline Age Rewind, NARS Creamy Concealer, Dream Lumi Touch from Maybelline, MAC Pro Longwear and Eve Rocher Radiant Youth Correct Pen, I think it's called. Um, liners, these are all drugstore I think. There's a lot of Rimmel Scandal Eyes. Um, Soup Liner from L'Oreal. And this is the Perfect Slim, which is my favourite liquid liner. Revlon Colour Stay in Nude Lip Liner, love that one. Um, Mirabella lip liner in bashful, pretty pink colour which I haven't used yet. Um, what else? Gosh, uh, velvet ice or something? Blueberry ice, velvet touch eyeliner. It's really pretty, light purple colour. Uh, loads of scandal eyes, some other bits. Maybelline, Revlon, Max Factor, all sorts. Then these last two are a little bit less full, so there's space to grow. So I've got Maybelline Brow Drama and four L'Oreal Infallible Shadows, which I did a blog post on recently. And then finally, Wet n Wild Vanity Palette and the Essence Quad in To Die For. Okay, we're almost done. I feel like this video is going to be so long, but I'm just going to go quickly through this. This is my nail polishes. I don't have many. This is it, but I just have this in a glossy box. I've got the Bourjois nail polish remover, the magic one. I think I need a new one of those. And then in here, I just have um, some Essie, some new Essence one, which I'm going to try out. These two, which I just got, I did a blog post on that. Um, nail Girls base uh, and top coat, which I use all the time. Miracle nail drops, Bourjois baby, Eve Rocher nail polish. Um, Soigne, Sleek, Romal, Tanya Bear, number seven, just a bunch of things but definitely my smallest part of the collection and then next to it is some skincare which just a couple of things, Soaking Glory Fab Paw 15 minute facial peel and this Borghese Fango Active Mud Mask which is just ridiculously huge. 
I've had it for like um, at least a year now. <sighs> sort of one of my first YouTuber inspired purchases. I think it was Fleur de Force that's big got that. And then finally I have this little basket full of bits and pieces which I'll just go through quickly. My Tangle Teaser I just moved there. So I've got like cotton pads, cotton buds, this one is not very exciting, baby wipes, Garnier micellar water, Dove nourishing lotion, uh, dry shampoo, salt spray from Lee Stafford, Vaseline spray and go, L'Oreal L nut hairspray, some more hairsprays, heat protection, that kind of thing. But that is pretty much it. Beauty protector, detangler. So, um, that's pretty much it. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Just look thumbs up there. Um, I hope you like it, because it's going to be quite a long one. But yeah, that's pretty much my, my makeup collection. It's not massive, but it's definitely not tiny. But yeah, I love my makeup collection. Yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this, and subscribe if you're not already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys!